Good morning, beautiful people. It's a little bit earlier today, so I'm looking a bit tired, um, but that's okay. Um, so, today's um, question is, and I'm, often we don't take time to actually listen to what we, what we have to say, okay? Now, this challenge is all about finding your true value, okay? Showing up as exactly who you are, authentically, honestly, in every moment of the day. Not requiring to put on that mask anymore. So my question um, today is, what is your inner child trying to tell you? Okay. Um, when we, there's, a, there's two sides, okay, to this, because we've got the monkey brain, which automatically comes in. So when we are feeling, you know, sort of jealous or anger, you know, the person that... It says those things that maybe we were like, oh, I wish I'd never said that. Um, then that's often the monkey brain. And we think that that's sort of more like a childlike brain because it's so automatic. But that's very different from your inner child. Your inner child often looks, um, looks at you at, at, for direction, I think. Um, and um, it's, it's quite a vulnerable little little person but it's so wise so so wise in so many levels but they do have a lot of healing to go through so as we go and to talk to our inner child it's often when the things come up that we never expected to you know when we've got daddy issues or mummy issues or you know sibling issues or things like that and that's often the inner child but they are so, so wise because they've often got some sort of uh, life's lessons. But they also allow you to look back um, and challenge your perspective, I think. So when we think about our inner child and just, I just want you to sit in the silence and just think about, you know, the little girl, the little boy that we were before. Okay, what, what were they like? Little happy soulful full of life and whenever I think about my little child the problem is is that because well I think having children makes me this emotional but maybe I was just this emotional anyway but I always think back to you know how how much I would care for that little child um if she were mine and funnily enough she is mine and um we feel that we have the right to abuse ourselves so, so often to tell ourselves that, oh, we're stupid or, oh, this, oh, I'm so fat in this, I don't suit that, um, if only I could, you know, all these kind of things. But the inner child, you think about when you were a child and actually, for me, you know, my inner child was full of expectation. She didn't have any boundaries whatsoever and... She um, she's pretty open um, to all possibilities and she hasn't been boxed in at all because I think often in life it tries to box you in your opinions, other people's opinions try and box you in and conform to this pigeonhole. Um, but just find out like what's, what's your inner child trying to tell you? And I think the, the biggest thing that, that's coming through right now is, you know, just allow for possibilities. I think that's what's coming through is like, you know, just a trust in and in the process and allowing for possibilities. The thing is, is that this challenge is a, is a visibility challenge, but it's a visibility challenge for me as well. For me to be as, as visible as myself and sometimes I get emotional but that's totally cool and I'm okay with that I enjoy the emotional side because without any you know darkness there is no light and likewise you know this kind of thing it isn't darkness it's just about you know really expressing your emotions so I hope you're having a great day love you all and I shall see you on the next video bye